Hey everyone, um, this is going to be another uh, Tech Talk Questions video, and in this one, I'm going to answer two different questions. The first one is from Knife Shock One. Um, Knife Shock One asks, uh, in my in my Counter Gadget deck, I run Fossil Dino. He asks, do I have a lot of problem with people using monster destruction or monster removal to try and get rid of Fossil Dino? And how long do I keep him on the field? And how do I keep him on the field? Well. Generally, for the most part, when I summon Fossil Dino, it, most of my opponents just sit there in utter disbelief and go, what the crap did you just do to me? Because his effect, to be completely honest, is pretty ridiculous. Um, as I said, if you don't know what it is, let me grab it real quick. I can find it? Okay, there we go. Um, this is the card we're talking about. Fossil Dino Pachycephalo. Um, it's a 4 star earth, 1200 attack, 1300 defense, um, rock effect monster, and when this card is facing him on the field, my opponent cannot special summon, or neither player can special summon actually. And you know, I love this, because usually when you play something that prevents them from special summoning, usually it's like oppression, they can just space it, or turn it, or heavy, or they can usually get around it pretty easily, but with Fossil Dyna, they literally have to pretty much run it over, usually they don't have... You know, Secret Cat don't run Fissure and stuff usually. Um, Lightsworn don't run Fissure. Um, Machina Gadget do run Smashing, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, I kind of just, I, I deal with it as it comes. Um, but for the most part, normally it stays on the field. It normally does stay on the field for quite a while when I do play it. Uh, how do I protect it? You know, I use cards like Enemy Controller, so they can't attack it bottomless, so if they summon something it goes away, you know, uh, just cards like Book of Moon, when they summon it just goes to defense, you know, Widespread Ruin, if they declare an attack, blow up their monster, a, a new one I'm doing is Shrink, you know, Ender Damage Step, Shrink them, Saku, you know, I just got, I got so many cards that can just pretty much protect him, to where you can't even get anywhere near him, um, and I honestly think that's why when I play him, he stays on the field for so long, it's because when I play him and play all these cards behind him and stuff, you just can't get to him. And like I said, I can just keep going and I've got more and more cards to protect him, but you get the you get the base the overall gist of what I do to protect him. It's just stuff that stops their monsters. Um, as I said, they do try and fissure him and that's I do run triple book of moon and triple compulsory, so sometimes I use that. Um, and then the secondary effect is if they uh, have already has special monsters in the field and I set him and they hit him it destroys them all so you know it's really good and they can't even start like road that because it's in damage step so at the same well not in damage step technically it's after damage step so well still in damage step it's after right after damage calculation they can't start like road basically um so it's it's very interesting um and they can't even activate Starlight Road against it even if it wasn't because it's Starlight Road Special Summons and... But we're not going to go into that. Um, the point is, when I summon him, I usually can protect him, can protect him very well. Um, you know, they, and they can't even go... They can't even go summon a tuner, my control, synchro. You can't even do that because he stopped any attempt to special him. And you'd be attempting a synchro summon, so it would be an illegal game action. So, you know, that doesn't even work. Um, they would literally have to go brain control Caius or something. Because they can't go Cyber Dragon Caius. You know, if I run into Spy, it's like, okay, Fissure it, they can't tribute for Kai's, you know? It, it, it limits their options so much. Um, and, you know, they, uh, people ask, you know, why do you run Why do you run that in there? And it's just like, well, why wouldn't I run it? It just destroys decks. It literally just rips decks apart. Um, GB, uh, Dandy Warrior, Light Sworn, um, Synchro Cat, it, it wrecks them. It, it just completely wrecks them. So, also the fact that if they have Shura, or Fire Dog, or a Searcher like that, and they run over my giant rat, it how it resolves was, I, re I special summon first, so I special summon Fossil Dyna, and then they can't resolve their effect because they would be special summoning. So it's actually really good like that too, it can just mess up their strategies big time. And I've done that to many Synchro Cat players. They'll summon Fire Dog, run over my giant rat, you know, I search that, and then they can't search for a Magician, and they're like, uh, what the crap. So it's 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 really good overall. Um, so that's my that's my response to you, uh, Knife Shock One. How I basically use Fossil Dino and how to protect him. Um, the next one is I had a 
person, one of my friends actually, uh, we're about to, we're like 10 days away from regional, so he was asking me, you know, I've got all the basic, I've got all the Major Deck Summer, GB, Synchro Cat, X Saber, I've got all of them, and I, I can pretty much destroy them with my deck, but he was asking me, so what are you going to do against um, Magical Explosion, or Frog OTK, or any number of, any number of decks like that? And I actually started thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, I wonder what I can actually do against those kind of decks, because, I mean, I might have to verse them, I don't know. But I was thinking, against Frog OTK, I've got 3 DD Crow, which stops the whole Ronin Toad abuse, so, you know, that's good. I've got 3 Prohibition, which stops the whole Ronin Toad abuse, which is really good. And then I've got the, <coughs> excuse me, Space and Twisters to stop the Mass Driver abuse. So, you know, against Frog OTK, I don't think I'll have too much problem. I can pretty much deal with them fairly easily, but I I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to underestimate them. I mean, it's a good deck. I know that for a fact, so I'm not going to underestimate them. As for Magical Explosion, unfortunately, the only thing I have is three Prohibition in side deck. And then in main deck, I've got three Dark Bribe. And one solemn judgment. If I can find that real quick, maybe. I guess not. Um, solemn, where did you go? Oh, there. You go. And one solemn judgment. And unfortunately, three prohibition, three solemn, or uh, one solemn and three bribe. Sorry, yeah, three solemn. I wish. Uh, that's my only ways of stopping magical explosion, to the best of my knowledge. I mean, I can get, I can really mess up their strategy when they play um, uh, their uh, Royal Magical Library because I've got Book of Moons, I've got Propulses, I've got Econ, I've got all kinds of fun stuff to mess with their monster. But as for the actual card itself, I don't have a lot of ways to stop it. I mean, technically seven ways is a decent number of ways to stop it, but still not a big plethora. And then, of course, the last one was Ojama OT game. Now, you may be thinking, you know, who would run Ojama OT game? That's not, you're not going to see that there, blah, blah, blah. But don't get don't don't. I'm actually not I'm actually not gonna take it into I'm actually not gonna underestimate it because last regionals there was two Ojama OTK in the top 16. That's a little scary. Um, and for that you know I, I've pretty much got the same thing as against Mass Driver. I've got those. I've got Prohibition Space. You know Prohibitions. DD Crows. You know I've also got um. Um, what do you call it? Oppression and Fossil Dino in there, which destroys the deck. You know, I, I've got, I think I've got a quite a few cards that can really help me against the deck, but it's definitely a danger. And finally, the last thing is one of the biggest decks right now is Infernity OTK. And people ask me, how do you stop that? How do you stop that? And again, same thing. Crows, Prohibitions, and Twister in Space. There you go. I mean, well, those and Fossil Dino. Like, it's hilarious versus uh, Infernity. If you're ever seeing an Infernity player and you summon Fossil Dino, they just look at you like, are you kidding me? What? Um, you know, what cards am I afraid of people citing on me? System Down is going to be a real pain in the ass. It's going to be a good card. It's going to annoy the crap out of me. Stops my pro stops my Pot of Avarices and stuff. So I'm going to... I'm still messing with ways to get around that. Pretty much I usually just bribe it or Solomon. Um... I might try Return from the German Dimension into my side deck. Um, you know, people ask me what I'm going to do against, um, what do you call it? I can't think of his name. Um, I don't know, my mind just went blank, so I don't know what the deck is now. Uh, Oh, they asked me what I'm going to do against Mirror Match, like Machina Gadgets or maybe another Control Gadgets or something. Um, and actually, for the record, this is Counter Gadgets. Counter Gadge, not not Control Gadge, but that's neither here nor there. I'm basically, I've got System Downs, Prohibitions, and Crow. That's what I'm basically going to do. Um, so, this has just been sort of a tech talk thing for regionals and for a question I got asked. So, basically, just let me know what you guys think. Um... I'll be posting my final deck list probably ne probably next Sunday after my last tournament before regionals because I think I got all the kinks worked out, but I want to make sure. 